Hi uh, everyone, I'm Amanda and I'm from Taiwan. Um, I just finished my th uh, bachelor here at BI and currently I'm doing my master. I'm a first year master of students in business analytics. And today we will tell you more about um, BI's program. And here I have Carlos with us. Hello everyone, my name is Carlos. I'm from Brazil, from Rio. And I'm currently on my third year of the Bachelor of Business Administration here at BI and I'm, I'm specializing in finance here. So today's webinar, we, will, uh, we are going to first talk about why Norway and BI. Um, then we will mention about BI's program. So we will have two programs taught in English and also the Pathway program, but we will explain a bit more about what it is and what it includes. Um, after that, we will talk, we will share our experience, uh, our student life and then the experience here, studying here at BI. Afterwards, then we will get, give you some practical information about the living costs, about housing, uh, anything that you might found relevant. And at last, it will be the scholarship information. So let's start. Perfect, so a bit more on why Norway. So the country is well recognized for its amazing nature. Oslo is currently the green capital of Europe. Public transportation is widely available and cheap for students. It's very easy to travel within Europe from here. So we have students that on weekends, they go for weekend trips, let's say in Rome or Paris. And even during Easter break and summer holidays, they can also travel a bit. Uh, it's also a very safe country. Uh, Norway is also very highly ranked but for its gender equality, high employment rate, and it's one of the happiest countries in the planet today. Very high HDI. So for... For the public transportation, it's super convenient. Um, for example, from BI, it is around 20 minutes, or actually the actual time if you take a tab on, take a metro from BI to the center, it's around 10 minutes. But then if you include um, waiting time, it will be around 20 minutes. So it's super convenient and you can basically get to almost anywhere in the city around within 30 minutes. Yeah. BI yeah. Yeah, is pretty central and it's very close to the city center in general. And uh, one good thing is that students here, they pay one monthly pass, which is very cheap, yeah. very affordable, and they can use the public transportation as much as they want to. Yeah, and Norway is also a super safe country. I've been here for almost four years. Um, whenever I come home late, like even midnight or even past midnight, I feel completely safe walking on the street, like alone as a, yeah. as a female. So I'm sh I can assure all the students from everywhere else, you don't need to worry about your safety when you are here. And yeah, yeah. And about the high employment rate we have, even for BI specifically, we also have some very high employment rate for our students. And we have uh, uh, a lot of uh, international students who also work part time during their degree here, which is also allowed. Yeah, so we will talk a little bit more about how a student work part time during their study later. Yes. Now, here we're gonna talk about why BI is your good choice. It is a triple accreditation school. So in the world, only 1% of business school got triple accreditation. So for the ranking and the quality of education you are going to get here, it's guaranteed. Uh, for international students, you come from abroad, you don't need to worry about your housing. BI provides um, guaranteed housing for all international students, at least the first year when you arrive. So for sure, you are gonna get a place yeah. to stay. It is also a very international school. So on campus, you will see not only Norwegian, but also students from all over the world. So you will see a lot of Asians, you will also see Africans, um, South Latin Americans, and from the yeah. US. So it's a very good blend, uh, a very good blend in between students. And specifically when it comes to the bachelor's, bachelor classes, we usually have a majority of international students in the Bachelor of Business Administration and also the Bachelor of Business Analytics, which is something very nice. Yeah. You also get to customize your degree. We will mention a bit more about how you customize that in, if you study BBA. Um, BI also have a very close relationship with companies. So every year, actually every semester, there will be a career fair. So companies, actually this is one of the biggest career fair in Norway. Uh, all the companies come to BI on campus for around two to three days. There will be company presentation. There are gonna be stands that you can visit and get to talk to the uh, representatives from the company, which helps you to find an internship, get to know the industry, and actually get the first-hand information from them. And we also have people here from BI that help you out when making your CV and also preparing for, for interviews. And BI, again, they have a very wide net of partners and in the Norwegian business sector. So it's a very good platform for you to get a job later on. And what this 
most important is student life here is amazing. So we will share our experience yeah. later. It's the happiest country in the world and it's the happiest universe in this country, I think. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Oh yeah, so, uh, so about the bachelor programs you have, we have Q in English, which are the bachelor in business administration, which is the one I'm taking. And there's also a new program, which is the Bachelor in Business Analytics. So that's more related to data science, big data, data analysis, while the Bachelor in Business Administration is more of a, the classical program in which you have the basic cycle on, on business administration, and then you proceed to a specialization, either in finance, shipping management, or international business. We also go some, a bit further on that later on. And we also have a pathway program in partnership with uh, Jöschenbrenn University in Sweden, which uh, helps students who need to in improve their level of English and also the ones that come from, from countries where we would need a one year of university. So you can apply with your high school diploma for, from countries su such as Brazil or China, for instance. So uh, more specifically about the Bachelor of Business Administration. So it's a program that's taught 100% in English. Uh, we have several courses on finance, economics, and also on the third year, as I said, you can go for a specialization either in finance, and BI is very well known for its finance department. It's very recognized for its research output. You can go for international business where you have the chance to, to understand how different cultures work and how to make business with people from different countries. Uh, and also the shipping management, shipping management specialization, which is one that BI is very well known for. So you learn more about shipping finance, uh, maritime law, and you also get the chance to, to, to study alongside students from different countries who come specifically for the specializations. So when it comes to the nationalities in the program, we usually have 120 to 140 students every year. 60% of those are usually international and we have 50 plus nationalities there. So you're going to be studies, studying with people from various countries, students from di very different backgrounds and cultures. And we really like to see this interaction among students and it's something very enriching for people and also that uh, will enable them to work with different cultures later on in life. So, so how business uh, BBA works is it's a three year program. You study the first two year together with all of the students. Um, so there will be slightly bigger classes, but in the third year you will choose your specialization. So you have to pick one of those and the classes will become smaller at this point. You get uh, smaller classes, more interactions with the professors. Okay. There are also quite a lot of exchange students joining, so you get to know people from different part, uh, different schools as well. For example, for finance and international business, we do get quite a lot of Lithuanian students. Also they come for- Australians and Singaporeans as well? Yeah, Australian and Singaporeans are more for the shipping management because Singapore is an important city for shipping and, and shipping, same yeah. as Oslo. That's why we get a lot of students to come for a shipping yeah. management program. And usually on the third year, as she said, you're gonna have smaller classrooms because the, the, the 120, 140 people are separated within the three specializations. So it's a much more closer, close relation with the teacher, for instance. So I, I'm doing the final specialization and uh, I'm really happy to see that we, we get a very close contact with teachers. Yeah. And also during the, the first two years of the general cycle, teachers are widely available, so you can talk to them whenever you want. So we have something called office hours. So the teachers for two or three hours every week, they will have their, their office door open, so you can get, go there, talk to them about anything, ask him any questions. So it's a, it's a very, it's a very a close relation we have with the teachers yeah. at the FBI. And also, I think BBA is probably one of the special like most special yeah. program at BI because it is so international and most students come after their high school or either they come alone or after a few years of work experience but they in general like come from different parts of the world so they started a brand new chapter here in Norway and that makes people bond together so BBA yeah. is a very um like every it's like a small it's like a big family yeah like everyone is super close to each other and you get to like really know each other. Yeah, I would, I would say that uh, we see that we are all in this country together. We, some of us left their families behind, uh, came here for because we have uh, very specific and very, how can I say, eager goals. And what we see is that we are on the same ship, so we need to help each other yeah. out. So we kind of make this bond of like, I feel that I have, I have a lot of friends that yeah. I'll take for life from here. Yeah, mm, very nice. so that is a little bit different from a bachelor program taught in Norwegian because most Norwegian students, they kind of already grew up here. They have mm. their 
own circle of friends, but BBA, they all start at the same starting point, which makes it super special and the bonding lasts like very, very long. Yeah, it's, so it's probably also one of the programs that works like super well together. Like yeah. a lot of professors just said that BBA works super well and yeah. they achieve for like a really good goals because of this relationship. Yeah, have. the cohort is usually very, very close together. And we, we, we have a very good sense of like that we are classroom together in this. So we need to help each other out. So now we're going to talk about the Bachelor in Business Analytics. This program is also taught 100% in English. Um, this year is just the first year, so the next year will be the second year that we run this program. What is special about it is since business analytics is a new trend, like big data, everyone is talking about it. Um, this program specifically focuses more on the data part. You will learn a bit more about programming language, about um, how to analyze data, how to clean the data, and also having slightly more quantitative subjects compared to BBA, which has a more general understanding of business, like mm -hmm. micro and macroeconomics and business communication. So um, for this program, if you do the Bachelor in Business Analytics, you also get a connecting program, which is Master in Business Analytics, will give you a very good understanding and basics in order to take that master. Of course, if you study BBA, you can still do master in business analytics, but for people who are very sure that this is the future that they wanted to have, then I would recommend to take this program from the, from the start. But if you are still unsure or you want to have a, diff, a bit of a different background, for example, you want to know a bit more about finance, you wanted to know a bit more about international business or a bit more about shipping management, then you can also do BBA and do business analytics later, so which will give you a more diverse background. But then it all depends on how you want to um, how you wanted to plan your future. Of course, and uh, what we see is that that's a very very modern program, and it's a program that the the corporate uh, sector was very eager for because we're really preparing uh, students to be very good data analysts, and we. We have people that we, we teach, teach them how to how to analyze data and how mm -hmm. to use different platforms. They work with R, for instance, Python, and they get very good at it. Yeah, and then it's cool. Yeah. So it's it's very good for it's a very modern program and it's a, a program that has a very high demand from the corporate sector today. Yeah, so you will go a bit more in depth, and then it combines a little bit more of the technologies, um, which uh, this program is designed to make sure that you have both a business understanding and also a bit of the technical background that you need to come to be able to communicate with engineers in the future and it's a program that highly communicates with the the bachelor of business administration because they have class some of the classes together mm -hmm. so they they go through this general business cycle as well as well in a way so it's also it's also a very complete program i would say yeah the difficulties of uh, courses in business analytics is slightly harder than the BBA just because of it has a bit more quantitative and a bit more the technical part of the courses, which makes it slightly harder. But still, I wouldn't um, don't choose the program just because it is harder, but choose the program that you actually like and love. And it's right for you. Yeah. yeah. Um, what is the oh, what we oh, can say? Yeah. It's also a slightly smaller class because yeah. we just started the program. Um, I, as far as I remember this year, they have, have around, around 40, 40 students. 10% 40, yeah. Brazilian. We have four <laughs> Brazilians there this year. So it's a, it's a program with high demand from international students as well. And again, uh, it's, a, it's a very modern program and you'll be dealing with very, very modern uh, softwares. So it's, it's a very technical, but also very enriching program for your career. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. I would say so. So yeah, a yeah. bit more about the opportunities here at BI. So we have plenty of options for electives. Uh, for instance, on the second year of the BBA, you, you will have the chance to choose an elective as well on the third year of your specialization. Uh, for, the, for the Bachelor of Business Analytics, you also have some electives. For instance, I, I have a deep interest for economic history. So on the second year, I took a course named Financial Bubbles, Crashes and Crisis, which gave me a bit more of sight on, on when it comes to the, the history of financial crisis, the history of uh, financial bubbles. So it was a very, very enriching program and a program I really liked. And I'm, I'm already choosing my electives for next year. And it's also, it's also, it's all, it's all, it also gives you a chance to deal with more international students because some of the, these electives are full of exchange students. So it's something very enriching. And talking about exchange, something very nice to say is that BI has more than 200 partner schools 
So you have plenty of options for exchange. So students who take the international business uh, specialization, they are able to go abroad for one semester. So they have a wide array of, of options to choose from. So uh, I, have, I have people from my class that are currently doing the, the international business specialization. And I have, I have friends going to Singapore, going to China, going to Brazil, some of, some of them even going to the United States, Canada, and all over Europe as well. So we have a, a lot of options to choose from. And also there's something called the BI internship. So on the third year, you are able to, instead of doing an exchange, you can, you can go and, and bring a, a, a job offer to BI, and then they will be able to give you what we call, what would be a, a, an internship. So you would get credits for that and also a grade. And so it's a, it's a very good way for you to have some, some practical experience during your degree. And uh, when it comes to master studies, uh, we require that students have an average of B. So as long as you maintain a B average throughout, your, throughout the BBA or the Bachelor of Business Administration or, or the Bachelor of Business Analytics, you are allowed to, to apply for the master study. So you are eligible for it. And when it comes to admissions for the bachelor programs here, so students who have the IB diploma, they can apply directly. So we require you to have the diploma. The average grade would be around 24, 25, depending. And uh, other than that, students who have a high school diploma from any country and also one year of higher education in a recognized institution in that country, they can also apply for the BBA or Bachelor of Business Administration, or Bachelor of Business Analytics, sorry. So for instance, students from Brazil or China, they would need to have a high school diploma plus one year of higher uh, education in their home country, or they can apply with the IB diploma if they're coming from an international school. When it comes to the English test, students who have done the IB diploma, they don't need to apply with uh, English test, so the IB will cover that. But students who have the high school diploma from the home country will need to give us proof of English. So this would either be a TOEFL with grade 78 or higher or an IELTS with grade six or higher. So it's the overall band score. We don't need, we don't have specific requirements for each band. Yeah. Uh, just to make it a bit clearer. So for admission, either you do IB or if you have yeah. 13 years of um, education until high school when you finish. So for example, if you're from Scandinavia or if yeah. you're from some part of Europe, you don't, you are not required to have that plus one year of higher education. Yeah. But if you're from Asia or some like Africa, or if Latin you're, American countries, yeah, yeah, if you're um, up to high school, you only have 12 years, then you are required to have this plus one year of higher education. Yeah. That is because of the system difference between Norway and other countries. So because in Norway, when you start your bachelor, you normally already have 13 years of education. That's why some country you do, uh, you are required to have that plus one year. Yeah. And that is also why we have the pathway program because some people don't have it and then they are not planning on doing yeah. plus one year of higher education, then they can do the pathway program. Yeah, so students coming from Europe, they can apply directly from high school. Students coming from the US, for instance, they can also apply with, if, they, if they took the APs. But uh, in general, students coming from Latin America or Asian, Asian countries, they will need to have a plus one year of university to apply. Yeah. So now we are going to talk about a, a bit more about the pathway program for those who did not have the 13 years of education before they apply, or you just need this plus one year, or you did not have the English course. Yeah, uh, so if you need to improve your English as yeah. well. So pathway is meant for those who did not have the um, enough education until for, for bachelor here, or if you are not having um, high enough English scores, then you can take the pathway. For pathway, you will need a minimum of uh, yields. It's five, as uh, far yeah. as I remember. Yeah, so for five, you will have to take the English track, which is meant for improving your English to make sure that you have the enough English um, knowledge to take bachelor. Uh, at BI. Yeah. And for the general track, it's more about general understanding of business and also you will get to know a bit more about uh, Scandinavian lifestyle. Yeah. You have some general studies when it comes yeah. to Scandinavian economy yes. and also the Scandinavian culture in general. Yeah. But one thing that uh, to remember is this is a pathway program cooperating with Yunshipin University. So you will study this one year in Sweden instead of in Norway. Yeah. But it is, um, if you have completed the course completely, like not filling any courses, then you basically get admission to BI yeah. directly. Yeah, you're gonna get a conditional admission to BI as soon as you're uh, accepted into the, the perfect program yeah. with the condition of you fulfilling the program. Yeah, 
and you don't need to choose uh, BBA or BA when you apply for Pathway. Yeah. You will get that choice when you're um, halfway for, yeah. through your Pathway program. So you, you can change like. And one very good thing to remember is that uh, it's a very enriching experience because you have two different Scandinavian experiences in general in, 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 a, in a nutshell. So you're actually going to, to live in a small city in Sweden called Granar. It's a, it's a city where basically you're going to live on the city campus, you have everything there. On the university campus, you have everything there. And then you move to a bigger city in European centers, which is Oslo. So it's, a, it's, a, it's very enriching. You get to, to, to live in two different Scandinavian countries. And also we get to experience uh, being in two, two different countries. And also in Sweden, you're going to have a lot of international friends as yeah, well. Yeah, but the classes are quite small. The as far as I remember, small, yeah. it was around 10 to 15 students yeah. only. So you'll have a very close relationship with people yeah. who are planning on coming to BI and you get to know someone before you start it actually. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. So the, the, the cohort that comes to BI later on, it's usually very united and we, we try our best to keep in touch with them. And, and so we visit them, we, we, we would visit you every now and then. Sometimes they come to the campus here yeah. for some dinners. Dinners like the dinner we have every, every month. So for international students and sometimes the students from, from the pathway, they come to visit. So for sure what we have is um, the coordinators from BI will visit the campus yeah. at Yunshuping University at least once or even twice. Yeah. Um, per year, like something yeah. like that. And these group of students will also get the chance to come to Norway, to come to Oslo, to see the campus and you'll get a private tour, uh, get, get to talk to the students about, yeah. yeah, for a weekend. I think yeah. it was two days. Yeah, yeah. so it's, it's very nice. So we keep a very close relation with this, this uh, students in the pathway. Yeah. So uh, coming to student life in general, so uh, one thing you can be sure of is that BI will provide you a lot of student support. So we are talking about, we have learning assistants, we have uh, teaching assistants, we have tutoring sessions, we have something called drop-in sessions, which is basically uh, every day we have students, uh, we have students uh, assistants, or which are the, the learning assistants who go for a specific room in the library. And you can just drop in there and, and ask them questions. They're usually students with very high averages, so they can help you out with anything you may need. Yeah. And also for BBA, as far as I remember, the first year you almost get a, you will get a TA, of like a spe special students who get a very good grades in those courses or master students to help you with the, yeah. like if you have any problems, they will have extra courses, then it's not mandatory. You can just decide by yourself whether you need it or not and you just go and then they will explain a bit more or practice uh, problems that was given in class together. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's usually very, very good students that go and help you out whenever you need. So uh, one thing you can be sure of is that you're going to have a lot of support. You have support from the teachers, you have support from student, uh, from teaching assistants. There, there are also some tutoring sessions as well that yeah. they, they, where they help you out with exercise solving. Uh, we have a bunch of, of societies when it comes to sports and also academic ones. Mm -hmm. I was part of the Saving Society for a bit. And we also have um, more than 25 sports societies, sports societies that are not mistaken. Yeah, there are Everything so from, many. yeah, sailing, we have basketball, handball, lacrosse. We have a lot of winter sports as well. Mm -hmm. We have something called BI Outdoor, which is basically a society that yeah. goes out hiking. They sometimes, they went Camping to Iceland. Camping as yeah. well, right? Yeah. They went to Iceland last year, which was something very nice as well. Mm -hmm. And so it's, you, you're, you're going to see something where you're going to see yourself in. And it, you, you can really, expect to have a lot of a lot of sport related societies and also academic ones yeah for societies is a very good way to get to know students from different programs because normally you just have classes with um the bba students or the bachelor um analytics students but if you want to get to know norwegian students from norwegian program then that is actually one of the best way because you're sharing the same interest and then it's a smaller group of people it's easier to get to know them for example, I am in the case club, so you there are something that is more relaxing, more yeah. like hobby based, but there are also some uh, society that's more academy based. For example, like BI International case competition. Yeah. So you participate, you practice cases, and then you uh, might be sent to different countries representing BI and participating in case yeah. uh, solving competitions. We have something also called the the Private Equity Investment Bank uh, Association 
which basically brings out business leaders from Norway and also from other countries in Europe to talk to students and give them a sense of more about private equity and also investment mm -hmm. banking. So it's very enriching when you go to these academic associations because you get a chance to meet real life professionals who are working on it yeah. and they come here and talk to you. So it's, it's very, very good. So for example, I am in uh, BI Case Club. What we do is we are a group of students who practice cases together, but a bit different from the case competition societies, we do case solvings, which is going to help you in interview later on. And you, we also do um, visiting consulting companies. So I think around two to three times per semester, we get to visit top consulting companies like BCG. Yeah. We have visited Bain before, and there are actual consultants helping us, guiding us through the case solving process. And you actually get to know them in person, which is very helpful in the future when you, find, when you want to find a job. On the BBA, we also had some study trips. So for instance, on the first semester, we went to Copenhagen for a weekend. On um, the second semester, we went to Budapest. On the third one, we went to uh, Barcelona for a bit. Mm -hmm. So we also have the study trips every semester, so you can go there for, for one week or a, a weekend with, with your friends, so it's something very nice as well. And once you get to here, you're gonna know what Buddy Week is. So it's basically the integration week where we, we have all these international students and we pick uh, students from the second year and the third year of the VBA, and they become the buddies. So they receive this group of students. Yeah and they introduce them to student life in Norway. They go out and party, they go mm -hmm. out and, and get to know the city better. Uh, basically partying a lot, which is yeah. very nice. <laughs> but you, you, you manage to make a lot of friends in this first week. So it's something yeah. you, should, you shouldn't really miss. Because uh, you, you come here, you integrate, you talk, to, you talk more to, to, to people from different countries, and you get to meet the new students and also the students who have already been here for the mm -hmm. past two or three years and they start to give you a sense of what student life here is. And it's very good for you to bond and make friends. Yeah, in the start. so for the body week, it's very relaxing. There's no pressure, but at the same time, it's very intense because yeah. you have a lot of events that you need to decide whether you want to participate or not. But it's yeah. a very good way to get to know the city, get to know your yeah. friends and get used to how it is like living in Oslo and living and in the eye. That's around August, so the, the weather is pretty nice yeah. still. So we have, we have, for instance, the boat party where people go on different boats sailing on Oslo Bay. And it's something very nice because it's like in a boat with a friend and you're having fun. So it's, we, have, we, we have a lot of different uh, events you can go to on Buddy Week. That, uh, the Buddy Week at the I is actually one of the biggest uh, events here in Norway, like one of yeah. the biggest Buddy Week. And it is cooperating with different universities here. So yes, you course. get to also see people from University of Oslo, Oslo Med. So it's like an event for all new students yeah. in Oslo. It's a very big student yeah. event, I would say. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it's... So for associations, like we mentioned before, BBA has its own association. They arrange trips. They arrange dinners. Um, so for example, this picture is the Halloween, uh, no, actually the Christmas party. So it was after the exams and then um, all the BBA students, doesn't matter which year you are in, you get to participate yeah. and hang out with uh, students from different years. There are also Halloween party. There are um, study trips like you mentioned before. So you go to a different country, see the culture, enjoy the different yeah. environment, and also visiting one company. Yeah. Normally there is a company yeah, also, visit. Yeah, company visit, then you get to you know, if, if you have a, a partner school in the city, you also get to go there. Yeah. So let's see if you want to do a, a exchange there later on, you can get to, to know the university better. And talking a bit more about the associations, uh, the VBA association is it's pretty good and it, mm -hmm. it, it's very helpful in, in uniting the students. So again, VBA is basically a, it's a very big international class. So we, we usually have a lot of students who bond together pretty easily because they are here in the same boat again. Yeah. So it's, it's a very, very strong association here in BI and it's an association that's it's very active, I would say. Yeah. So besides these kind of um, social events, BBA associations also do, um, they are the communication way between um, the students and also the uh, faculty and yeah. then the administration part of BI. So there will be students who is responsible for that. And if you have any questions regarding the courses, the, the quality or any advice that you want BI to improve, you get to talk yeah. to them and then there will be representative from the associations to talk to school. Yeah, of course. And then what we see is that these associations are, they are, they are a very good way to, to help students out. 
and it's a very good way to communicate the needs of the classes to the administration and mm -hmm. also to faculty. So it's it's pretty helpful. We don't just go having fun, but we also help each other out when it comes to study or when we need to get something better here or or pass something on to the administration. The, the BBA Society helps us out with this. Yeah. And next thing is we want to mention is work as a international student here in Norway, if you're not from EU country, you are eligible to work up to 20 hours per week, which is like 50% of yeah. full time, which more than enough. Yeah, yeah and, and the schedule for the BBA is pretty flexible, so you can expect to be able to work that amount of time. Yes. We have students that work in different areas. Uh, basically, for the first three years, we have, for the first year, we have students work on the, on, the, on the service industry here in Oslo, mm -hmm. and also when it goes to the second year, third year, students get starts on internships, DI also offers some positions as student assistants, like mm -hmm. we are, always. <laughs> and then we, we kind of like help out, we have student assistant positions that help out with each department. And, but basically we have, in general, we have a lot of students working here at DI, and it's a very good way to help out with your, with your budget and also your living expenses. Yeah, I would say um, if you're a Norwegian student, like Norwegian students, it's super common for them to work, like 90% yeah. of Norwegian students work besides uh, their studies. As international students, it takes a little bit more time for them to get used to a new environment, yeah, a new course. country. So the rate of working is slightly lower, but having a part-time job helps you balance out, like help you manage your time better, I would say. Yeah. And you also feel more um, comfortable in Norway because you get to know a different part of the country, not just the study part, yeah. not just school, you get to know how the work like workplace yeah. works uh, and also you will not be so much on budget because since you are earning Norwegian salaries it They're will be high. <laughs> yeah, yeah you, you will be more understandable of like why the price is like that yeah like if you start earning you you feel like it's more affordable of course and and yeah. what we see is that uh, students they they really manage you to put that uh, amount of time in their schedule and what we see is that um, Norwegian is not a, a, a mandatory language here no. because we we have a lot of students who work basically in English and even the service industry, for instance. So uh, everyone here speaks English, I would say. Yeah, almost That's, everyone yeah, speaks English. Almost everyone speaks English, so you can go through daily life speaking English very easily. So whenever you go on to buy something in the grocery store, you mm -hmm. can speak English. When, whenever you go yeah. on the on the metro, you can speak English. School basically operates in English, so yeah. it's it's. It, 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 you need to know a few words like how to how to say thank you or how to ask for something. Yeah. But if you have, uh, you can go through life here pretty easily with English. Yeah. So finding a job is not a problem as long as you are willing to step out and yeah. try to find a job. I would say most likely you will find something. Yeah. Of course, it might not be hundred percent related to what you want to do in the future. Of but course, yeah. the most important thing is you start getting the experience that you need because Norwegians actually like seeing that yeah. you have tried to make an effort. Yeah, yeah, make an effort showing that you are willing to um, try and like, they're just in general, they yeah. like to see that. So it's a very they're good pretty positive thought. towards uh, you, when you're like committed to something. Yeah. So it's pretty nice. Travel? <laughs> oh yeah, uh, so a bit more about travel. Again, it's uh, Oslo, is, it's quite central. So it's, it's very easy to get from here to anywhere in Europe. So we are like one hour away from Paris, one, one and a half hours away from Frankfurt, I think two hours away from Rome, and uh, and uh, tickets tend to be pretty easy. We have a, a, a very cheap, actually. We have a, a low, an original low cost called Norwegian, yeah. which makes some very, uh, very good, very good deals for students. Also, they have quite a lot of destinations in Europe, so mm -hmm. it's, you you you'll have a chance to meet to to get to know a lot of cities here. And for students under twenty six, you actually get this under twenty six discount. Yeah. So you get like around half price of the half price, yeah, flight ticket, cases, which is yeah. very convenient. Um, traveling in Norway is amazing. It's it's so Beautiful, big that yeah. you will need a lot of time to explore. So traveling is definitely a big part for international students. Of course. So uh, a bit more on the practical information. So again, uh, international students, they are guaranteed housing. So as long as you apply uh, and you, you pay the, what's the, the guarantee fee, which is like around uh, 100 euros. Yeah. So you, it's it's not that much and you are guaranteed that you're going to get the student housing uh, which is usually subsidized so it's a lower cost um, students can work up to 20 hours a week and uh, for those who are international students non-eu you get here and it usually will take somewhere some something sometime between 
three and six months for you to get your documentation no, ready? No, six months. Not no, six I, I would months. say yeah, two, two, three months at the most. Yeah. So you, you're going to get, and after that, you, you're covered by the Norwegian health uh, care system mm -hmm. and a bit more on the budget. So you, we don't have any application fee. The tuition, expense, the tuition fee for BI is around 85,000 85, kroners per year, which is around 8,500 euros a year. And when it comes to the living expenses, you should expect to budget something around 700 to 1,000 euros a month. That's for both housing and living expenses. But again, you gotta keep in mind that you have a lot of different housing options. Mm -hmm. So when you pay the guarantee, you can either end up in a, in a, a you're gonna have your options, your preferences, but the options we have are either with BI, so you, you live near campus on um, BSN, which is the, the housing provider from BI. We ha also have a partnership with SIO, which is a student association here in Oslo. So they have a bunch of different uh, student housing units uh, all around the city, but n none of them are more than 10 minutes away from Metro. For, uh, 10 minutes away from Metro. Like you yeah. always get public transportation, yeah. like no matter where you live. and. The maximum time will take you is 10 like, minutes, 15 minutes by, by metro. Well, it depends on where you live, but I mean, um, it will always be within, I would say, 30 minutes of come yeah, every time. Of so if you choose to live, for example, a lot of students live close to BI, which is a five minutes walk. There are yeah. also a lot of students who live at. Um, Vinksha, so it's yeah, 15 like, minutes away by, by metro. Yeah. So it's, uh, yeah, it's, you have very close options to BI. And BI's location is super good. You get all of the public transportation will get to BI. So you yeah. have bus, you have metro, metro. you have a uh, tram as well. So it's like super convenient, no matter where you live, you will always get something that you could, um, you can you can commute to, to school. Of course. Yeah. For the living expense part, all, uh, all of students, like for student housing, you always get your own room. It just depends on how many people you're sharing with uh, the kitchen and the yeah. living area. So the Norwegian way is that you're going to have your single room, mm -hmm. but you're going to share a kitchen and bathroom with uh, some people. Sometimes you share it with one person, depending on the budget, but we have also options to share up to with two, seven, seven yeah. eight people. But then it's, it's, it really depends on your budget. BI's housing, for instance, BSN. If the rent is around 540 euros a month, which is not that high. Is that the single or? The, the double. That's the double. That's the one okay. you, you share with, with one. someone. You share with yeah. one. Yeah, you share with one person. Yeah. So you share a bathroom and kitchen with one person in this, this set. Yeah. And for CEO, they have this settings that you have your own room and toilet. Yeah, so you have a studio, they call it. Yeah, but then you share the kitchen. The kitchen, yeah, of yeah. course. And you also have a studio where you have your, your own room, bathroom, and kitchen. So it really depends on how you want or like how you prefer to live and how many people you are willing to share with. The more people you share with, the cheaper the house yeah, really. price. And eating out is kind of expensive, so most people cook. Yeah. But eating on campus, it is okay. The meal yeah. here is price quite is cheap. pretty pretty good here. I think it's the cheapest price I ever seen in Oslo. It's like the kitchen here is BI. It's like student price. So yeah, it's, it's, it's very, very affordable. And, and the food is pretty good. Pizza here is very good. <laughs> and also we have some, something called the hot box. So every day we have a different dish. That's quite a few options every day. So I have a vegetarian option. Today we have chicken pies. Yeah. So uh, very briefly on scholarships. So we have for, the, for, the bachelor, for bachelor students, we have the IB scholarship, which is targeted to graduates from the IB diploma program. So that's a scholarship that covers full tuition and it's based on, on the overall score of the student. And we also have the Bachelor International Scholarship, which is targeted to students from, in, with international backgrounds and also that is uh, people from Europe and all other continents. Yeah, doesn't matter where you're from. Yeah. As long as you um, graduate high school, have a good grade yeah. and you're not studying, you're not doing the IB program, then you, you are eligible to, to, the to the bachelor, bachelor scholarship. scholarship. Yeah. yeah. So very important to know the deadline for the uh, scholarship application is March 1st mm -hmm. and we should have your application by then if you want to apply for the scholarship. Yes. And that's the priority application deadline for international students as well. And after that, we will proceed to rolling admissions. Yes. So before March 1st, there will be um, like your application before that, it will be processed first. Yeah. Then afterwards, it will be based on how many seats. space we have. How many left. seats available there yeah. are in the program. So after March 1st, it will be first come, first serve. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're good. So uh, here's a bit more on our contact and, and uh, social media. 
So you can send us an email on info at bi.ml. We have a blog called Life at BI, and you can follow us on Instagram on at Life at BI. So for at Life at BI, it's more like a student perspective. We share, um, actually it was all student stories. So scholarship yeah. students share how their life is like on campus. So it's not like an official BI. Yeah. Um, you get to see more of like a closer um, look into the student life. Yeah. For the Life at BI, it's a blog. Um, you will find student story of why they come to BI, why they choose BI, and there are also some practical information about housing prices, about how to choose um, the student housing, or approximately how much it costs you to uh, live in Norway. Yeah, it's a it's a very good blog. So we have we have articles and we have posts about everything. So yeah. since choosing your housing unit to uh, where to to buy groceries in Oslo, so we have yeah. a lot of a lot of good information there. And again, the, the Life at BI Instagram account is it's, it basically shares the story of the international students we have here. So yes. it's, it's very good for you to have some inspiration on how your student life will be here. So you will get a very close look into how it is like studying at BI. Yeah. And for the Life at BI blog, you also get to see stories of students traveling to, um, traveling to different countries to participate in yeah. case competition. You will see stories about internship how it is like doing an internship here so if you are very curious about specific part of like studying at bi or people's story then i would really recommend you to go on life at bi and read yeah so really okay cool. thank you thank you thank you thank amanda and carlos and you can grab a glass of water because i know it's been a long presentation and we can start with the questions I want to remind all our participants that you will receive an email with all the info that you need to apply or to contact BI Norwegian Business School. So uh, take a screenshot of the contacts, but also uh, keep an eye out for our email tomorrow with, uh, with everything that you need to know about BI. Okay, thanks Amanda and thanks Carlos. I do have a very interesting question because you presented the school, uh, this business school so well, but you didn't mention why did you choose BI? Why personally you decided to go to, to Nor uh, BI Norway, Norwegian Business School? So, yeah, I, I, I can talk, talk a bit more about my experience. So I, I'm from Rio in Brazil and I graduated from an international school there. I did the IB diploma. And then, uh, well, I had I had a lot of options to choose from, and most of my, my colleagues they usually went to France or the UK. But then I, I was I was I was checking the rankings for business schools, and BI is usually very very well ranked on the Financial Times, for instance. And then I saw that wow, there's this very good business school. Maybe I should check a bit more about the country. And I saw that like it was a very welcoming country. It's a country where they are they are eager for more international students and more internationalization. And it's a country full of opportunities, I would say. Like, I, I think that if I were to be in another business school, let's like say in France or the UK, I wouldn't have the, the opportunities that I've had here. So that, that's something that really, really struck me, uh, that BI is a very good business school. It's a highly, it's a well-ranked business school. It has the triple accreditation. So it's, 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 uh, at, it's playing at a global level. So it has the, the, the necessary uh, accreditations and it's something that, that it's, it's already an education that, that employers are looking for. But I wanted a, a country that would allow me to have more opportunities and have a, a better student life and a better experience. So I think the, 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 the choice for BI came from that. And BI is the best business school in Norway and one of the best in Scandinavia. So it was a natural choice when I thought about the country and, well, where I wanted to, to take my life. So for me, before I um, choose BI, I actually decided where I wanted to study first. I look into, I know that I wanted to be in Europe and I wanted to work in Europe afterwards. Um, UK is the most obvious like choice for people from my country. I think most people will go to UK or Germany and I don't want to go to a school or a place where it's packed with native speakers, like yeah. native Chinese speakers. So generally I just decided not to choose these countries. And um, Scandinavia is a country that is not a country. Scandinavia is a region that um, is always famous for its high social uh, welfare, high employment rate, and also like well-paid 
places. And that just interests me a lot. And I have visited Norway before I come here. I'm totally in love with the nature. That's why I did actually choose Norway. But um, there's many different places you can choose. And I already know that I don't want it to be in anywhere like small. So capital is my first choice. And for business school in, Cas in the capital in Oslo, there is only two, I yeah. think, um, that do business in English. Actually, most bachelor programs in Oslo don't offer it in English yeah. and BI is the top choice. And it also has very good ranking in general, like it's top business schools in Norway. That's why I just decided yeah. like it is BI, there's no, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't no other choose choice. any other things else, yeah. Yeah, so and, uh, and I'm, I think like after two years here, and I'm on, on, on no, two and a half years here now, and I'm, I'm moving to my last semester, I think was the, the wisest choice there was. Like, of course, when I came to my parents and I said, Dad, Mom, I'm going to Broadway, they were like a bit like, wait, and I was like, yeah, no, it's a good choice. And today my, my parents, they are very happy about my choice. They feel that like, it's, it's so much, it's like, it, it was a very good choice. And the opportunities that I see myself uh, having here, they're very impressive. And also have the, I have a sister in France, and it's not so good there. So it's, when it comes to the comparison, they're like, oh yeah, no, it's a good choice. Yeah, and for me, it's like after being here, what I can say is English is widely used. So for international students, it is very friendly. You also get the working hours, like 20 okay. hours that I'm not so sure if you get it everywhere yeah. else. Um, 20 hours is more than enough. And it's also, I would say it's the city size, it's, big but it's small at the same time yeah. you get very good nature you, you just get a very good blend in general so it's not just city it's city plus very good nature you get a very good work-life balance you get um the student life and working you can manage it very well yeah. in general that works very very well for me and i i just love it of course yeah and then when it comes to work like it's it's we have a, a it's like it's a country with very low unemployment very very low unemployment so i would say even for international students it's pretty easy to get a job here even easier when you compare it to other countries in europe so i would say it's, it's a very good choice for when it comes to, to opportunities in general for work and also it's a very good place to make friends people are very 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 welcome uh, welcoming and, and uh, people are really happy to see international students here and yeah, it's, it's a very international business school and we see that we are very welcome and and it's, it's satisfying to see that people are happy about us here. Yeah, and for, let's talk about a bit of the wage, how much student earns. Oh yeah, so right? an average, for instance, uh, student assistance here at BI, they earn an average 175 kroners an hour, that's around 17.5 euros an hour. So it's, it's a pretty high salary. And when it comes to the service industry, people who work in hotels or restaurants for the first years, they would be getting something around, uh, so like 15 yeah, euros 15 to, to 17 euros per hour. Yeah, depending but that is work. excluding uh, overtime, excluding yeah, tips. Uh, tips, yeah. yeah. So students do make a lot of money here. So it's, it's, it's the only country where millennials are rich, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, other questions? Yeah, I, think, I think that's very clear. Thank you very much. Um, you know, Carlos, Amanda, um, when we were welcoming everybody, we had an idea of where they're connecting from. We have a lot of countries um, connected to this webinar tonight. And uh, some of them are not completely sure about the level of English. So what happens if a student doesn't know 100% English? Do you have any examples of colleagues? So uh, what I would say is that uh, uh, we use for admission, when it comes to admissions, we use standardized tests, which are the TOEFL and the IELTS. So what we would advise students to do is take this test. So if you, if you, if you go on Google and you, you type IELTS or TOEFL, you can see where test sites are. So it's basically, up, it, basically I think every country in the world, almost yeah. every country has uh, test centers for this, both these tests. So you, you should try to make the test, see where your cut is. So if, let's say, you are a five on the IELTS, Okay, maybe you are you are you, you need a bit of improvement in your English, so you you may be able to apply for the pathway program, and mm -hmm. we can, you can go for the English track here. Or let's say if you have if you have a a, a six in the IELTS, we can already accept you straight into the into the the bachelor program. So my advice is to try to get this this uh, proof of English. So if you can do this test, they will give you in which level of English you are. So let's say if you get a, a seven or an eight on, 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 
on the IELTS, so it means you are C1, so you are well, very well prepared for this, this kind of education. But again, if we're a bit behind that, a bit, a bit uh, under that, so at, uh, at a 5.5 or a 5, we do have an option for you as well. Yeah, and also, I mean, although you have passed the, um, the requirement that BI yeah. has, I still recommend all the students who are coming, if you feel like you're not that comfortable speaking English, really recommend try to um, be more active and yeah, try to course. practice as much as possible because everything on campus is going to happen in English. And so you need to discuss homework, you need to um, answer questions in class, discuss mm -hmm. what topics, everything is in English, which is very, very important. Mm -hmm. But the how well you speak is not the only thing that determines how well you perform on campus. Yeah, of course. It's actually how willing you are to interact with people, how willing you are to communicate with people. So as long as you are willing to do that and everyone will be like, I think the, the worst case is you're so shy that you don't want to talk to anyone. Yeah. That is the worst case. So if you are willing to talk, willing to share your thoughts, it will be fine. Yeah, then something that people should not be worried about, because we, we have a lot of students that pass the IELTS and they have the necessary necessary grade, but they are not so confident. And one thing that I can, I can tell you for sure is that if you have the necessary grade and you f don't feel that confident about your English, uh, once you get here, you'll be almost a full immersion. So you'll be speaking English every day. You will be talking to people from different country so you have to speak English so it, it, you kind of um, it comes with practice it comes, it comes with, with practice, practice yeah. so once you're here you are fully immersed in the language so you're gonna you're gonna end up speaking English and you're gonna end up being more and more confident with it, about it more comfortable with speaking English mm -hmm. and uh, it's it's a it's a really good uh, opportunity for you to improve your English is to just to try to study abroad is to try to study with people from different nationalities because it kind of forces you to 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 get better and get more confident and more comfortable with speaking English. Yeah. Of course, you might have a bit of struggle in the very beginning because everything is English. You might need to take a little bit more time than others, but as long as you have passed that stage, everything is Yeah, everything good. should be fine. Yeah, that's very good advice. Thank you. Um, we have one of our participants asking if you guys um, think of returning to your countries or do you think you're going to continue living in Norway? If you think you're going to return, do you think that a Bachelor in BI would, or would offer you uh, more opportunities in your uh, country of origin? Yeah, so uh, I, ha I have, so uh, first of all, BI, BI is uh, it's a very well recognized international business school. So we, again, we have the triple accreditations which put us on the top 1% of business school worldwide. So it's a very global degree. So uh, you can expect to, to be able to present that degree to, to a company in Australia, in China, and, and, and anywhere in Europe. So we do have a lot of students that end up finishing that degree here and they go back to the home country or they get a job uh, somewhere else in, in, in Europe or North America sometimes. So it's a very well recognized degree globally. And it also depends a lot on, on your home country. So uh, I, I do really think about going back to Brazil at, at some point. And uh, I'm really interested in doing a master. Maybe I'll do a master here at BI once I finish this bachelor. And I'm pretty confident that uh, uh, by having a, a bachelor from a very, a, so, uh, such a well-recognized business school and also a master from, which is ranked among the fifth best in, 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 in the world, I would say, it's a very good way to, to, to go back to Brazil. Let's say it's a very good uh, curriculum to, to have. And, especially in a country such as Brazil, where, where uh, education is so like luster. It's very good when you have an international degree and also the international experience. That's something that yeah. also adds up <coughs> a lot that you lived and you studied abroad and you interacted with people from different countries, which is something that people in Brazil don't do that much because they don't have that many foreigners living there. So it's uh, w when you have this international experience, all of this, it, 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 create, it generates value to your, to your profile. You have an international uh, degree from an international business school, a highly well-ranked business school, and you also have the experience of studying with people from more than 50 nationalities. Mm -hmm. You have the experience of, of study, living in a different country, of getting to know different people. So it's, it all adds up to your profile. Yeah, I would definitely say the international experience you get when you're abroad is the most important part of like yeah. that degree. Because you already stand out from the crowd. For example, if I'm going home, um, that will definitely make me stand out from all of the candidates. You are from a different school, you, are, you have the experience that you need to 
like get out of the country, you have the ability to show that you speak English, you can communicate well. So all of that already proved that you are a better candidate. Uh, personally, I am not planning on going home, but that's more like mm -hmm. personal reason. <laughs> like I'm gonna be living here, so I'm mm -hmm. not planning on going home. But for you, like you're still considering. Yeah, yeah. I still have, I still have my options open. Let's see. Yeah. yeah. Thank you guys. Very quickly, can we tell Ignacio if there are any exchange programs with other European universities? Do you happen to know of any? Yes. Yeah, we do have a plenty of a, a lot of partnerships in in, in Europe. So I think he was from from Spain. Spain yeah. In Spain, we have a partnership with IE Business School. We have a partnership with Assad as well. Uh, we have quite a uh, a bunch of other business schools in 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 Spain. We have uh, more than nine partners in France. We have a lot of partners in, mm -hmm. in, in Germany. Germany. In more than Austria. ten partners. More than ten partners in the UK. So I think we have partners. There are year. like in total 20 plus partner school, like BI's partner school around the world, and Europe 200, is yeah. 200, yeah, sorry, yeah. 200 partner schools. Wow. So, Europe is definitely, um, you will definitely find schools that yeah. you can go to if you want to go on. We have change. plenty of, uh, of options for So, students. if you want to know exactly which schools, uh, just Google BI Partners, Partner no. Institution or Partner University. Yeah, BI, BI in the Region Business School Partner Institution. Right. Okay. Find it there. Great. Guys, uh, something it was not clear when you were explaining about the requirements mm -hmm. had a participant write, you said that it is required to have one year of higher education to be admitted. My question is, does the course have to be related to business or it could be any uh, course of higher education? In general, it doesn't have to be related to business, but it is recommended to have um quantitative courses to have business courses so it's not mandatory to be in business and that plus one year it really depends on where you are from so i think the easiest way to check is if you go to this nokut n-o-k-u-t and you type g-s-u list yeah and you can also get that access to that list uh, through bi's website yeah. so just go for the uh, just Google BI in Region Business School Bachelor Programs. You're going to see the admission requirements and you can see the list there as well. And one thing that is important to notice is that you need to have this one year of education in a recognized institution in your country and also on full time abroad. mode. On, yeah, on, the, yeah. Uh, on your country or abro abroad and also in full time mode. And it also depends on the country you come from. So, in general, for, for European students, they can come directly from high school. Uh, uh, students who take the APs in the U.S. and students who also who also take the IB, they can come directly. But students who come from other countries in Asia or Brazil or Latin America, they would need to have the plus one year yeah. higher education. So it just depends on where you are from. Great. Um, we have one last question. Do you guys have a couple of minutes to answer this? Can I? Can, okay. As an international student, what do I need to do to enroll in BI? So basically, uh, you would not need you to, to have all your documentation ready. So that would be your transcripts and also your, you need some uh, letter of motivation. Uh, there are also some other requirements, that, documents required that are very specific, like the passport. And also, uh, you're going to need something called a financial plan. It's basically filling up a, a, a sheet talking about how you, you're going to to, to pay for your education and also the English test, of course. So once you have all this info, all this, all of these documents, you can go on BI's website and you go there and you simply, and you simply go to the program you want to apply to. You, you put apply now, there's a button there called apply now. You're going to simply upload all these documents into the BI's website and we'll be able to assess this, the scanned copies that you sent us on this, on this, uh, by uploading it and we'll be able to give you an answer within, I would say, a few weeks. So to sum up, there are six documents that are needed. You need your transcript and certificates from high school. Um, has to be in English, so if it is not in English, you need to trans, uh, not, not you, but you need to have an English copy and then uh, make sure that it is certified by yeah. the school or by the country. And then you will need English tests, so either TOEFL or YILTS or the uh, European Language Certificate um, they are all acceptable. And Cambridge CAE is also accepted. Yeah. Then you need to write a letter of motivation, basically explaining why do you want to study business, why do you want to come to BI, um, these kind of things. You need to have your CV ready, a copy of passport, and the financial plan. 
That should be all. And everything is online. There is no application fee, so we really recommend everyone who is interested in to apply. Yeah. Okay.